Kamlesh Si Mehta is the new chairman of the board of directors and Ashmita Yogi Raj is the new president of the Indo-American Press Club, the largest organization of Indian descent journalists. Mehta and Yogi Raj were sworn in at the ceremony at the Indian Consulate in New York on May 21st to inaugurate the new team of office bearers, while IAPC General Secretary C.G. Daniel and several others were given the oath virtually. Mehta was administered the oath of office by Council General of India in New York, Mr. Ranthir Jaiswal, while Yogi Raj was administered the oath by Ginsen Zakaria, founding chairman of IAPC. The constitution and the bylaws of the IAPC and the policies of the club and the office I am elected to during my term. I will forthfully and impartially discharge the responsibilities of the office to the best of my ability. Thank you very much. During my term, I will faithfully and impartially I will faithfully and impartially discharge the responsibilities of the office discharge the responsibilities of the office uh, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank, Thank you. you. Special guest of honor was former New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. I had heard of her work. I had heard that she had done extraordinary things. I had heard that she was a trailblazer in this community in the field of public relations and media. But when you meet someone new, you don't know. You learn people through experience. And so I asked Pam very humbly to help me. Well, Pam, you know, when you think about, uh, I'm using an analogy, you think about an automobile and, and the standard shift, and there's you know, first year, second year, there's different, different levels. Pam has only one gear, which is to go to the maximum immediately. And so I asked her to help, and her idea of helping was to come in and organize everyone in this community and beyond. She went to maximum and she said, if we're going to win, we're going to have to do so much, but we can and we will. And by force of will, she moved hundreds and then thousands of people to my side. And I have said to the people in my life that there's a very, very few people in the year 2013 uh, who are absolutely irreplaceable, irreplaceable in my effort to become mayor. And if there's anything you like that I did when I was mayor, if you like free pay for all, if you like the affordable housing, or if you like what we did to bring this city back from COVID, then I would say I have to give the credit to the people who got me there. And most profoundly I can say from my own personal experience is I would not have been, I would not have been there in New York City without that offer. Four distinguished community leaders were honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award for their contribution to the larger society. Padmashri recipient Dr. Sudhir M. Parekh, who is also the chairman and publisher of Parekh Worldwide Media, the largest Indian American publishing group in the United States and chairman of ITV Gold, a 24-7 TV news channel on Sling. His Excellency, Ranjiji Keshwal, the chairman of the press club on this team, the founder of the press club, uh, Ajay Ji, uh, and your friends. Well, as you probably saw in the interview offer that I got the uh, award from uh, Patrushi and the Pravasi Bharti for the and Anisal and Medal of the Honor, along with the other senators and congressmen, and a knighthood 
on the king uh, of Malta, which comes in the territory of the Malta. So actually, oh, the former Pope uh, gave, uh, we had an audience with him, and he restored us his land of knighthood of Malta. For all his love, what it was, whatever I did uh, in my uh, lifetime. So all, all those rewards, but today's reward is more important than all those rewards. Because it's coming from my friends, my peers, and my own loved ones. So really, I thank you, all of you, for that. As you know, I'm a physician by profession. I have successful largest LD asthma immunology practice in USA with 400 doctors, nurses, and other uh, medical people are working for me throughout the New York, New Jersey, now Florida, and Arizona. So, but that's not enough. So when I turned 60, um, I had a 60, 60 birthday, and then that my guest were uh, from the uh, on virtually uh, Sushi Raisinger, Pramuswami, then uh, Baba Ramdev, uh, senior uh, senators and congressmen from USA, and I we asked only one question that I have uh, built the temple, I have been a grand, grand, grand manufacturer of the many temples. I'm also uh, one of the senior uh, uh, doctors in the Hapi. I also founded, founded a Federation of Hapi in New York, Christ in India. All those things, now what? So everyone says the uh, answer was only one line that now you have done all this thing, but you should uh, acquire the media. Put your time and resources in media and uh, empower the second generation and let American society know how rich culture we have, how rich we are, Indians, and what we can do in the, uh, in the USA government as well as society. And so I, I look, uh, quite a few of my friends ask me how come you are being a successful physician and still am practicing physician. Uh, uh, Going into media, so I, I said this is my story, and that's why at that time I wrote a, a newspaper, and then I later, later on I wrote the uh, IT gold, and now the IT gold is, as you know, that is on the same with the 14 million viewers. We are the official partner of the government of India, Nudrasan Prasad Bharti, and we have just built a beautiful studio in the new studio in Exxon to. to empower the second generation, to warn the second generation to Mother India because they, we all have love for Mother India, the first generation but second generation only will tell you that they love the Indian food and Indian dresses but we have to go beyond that and, and connect them to this, uh, Mother India so after us they can continue this uh, journey of uh, uh, US-India relations and as you know that I was involved in the tsunami, big wave in the stationary center, then uh, our community, the Aladdin's community in 92 to form the East India Caucus through Kalon and Gary Interven. And this India Caucus, as you can see now, before 1990, US Congress was completely anti India. A lot of congressmen and senators were uh, uh, against us. And that's how we started this, uh, uh, we got organized the uh, congressmen senators to start the India caucus. And now look at this India caucus. Today is the second largest caucus in the US Congress. That shows, that shows we came a long way. The second best thing we did in the 90s with the, through the political forum, uh, innovative political forum, that we gave the intensive with our own money to the oil that we used that time. I'm talking about 1997, and today to expose them to government working, and today you can see that there are 300 plus our second generation Indian Americans are on Capitol Hill. That's a great long term uh, reward to our community. Uh, so, uh, this journey is a very long journey, uh, and but it's my passion. So, I'm, I'm truly, I'm a physician, I'm a philanthropist, 
and just have uh, any of my life normal. We just built in 98 elementary school in Gujarat, 98 of them. And, and it's run by the government of Gujarat. We, we really can do all this give back to the government of Gujarat to learn it. And uh, just to increase the education in the rural area. So uh, now uh, I also have this responsibility of the media to so our us and I request all my media friends to be, uh, uh, be aggressive, be positive, uh, keep the community, uh, make the community look uh, very positive to the American society and uh, make sure that you uh, try to fight any any events or any anything which is against India, you must stand, uh, stand and uh, fight for that. And if you do that, then I think uh, our whole life work, our community life work, will be well, well, well uh, spent. So again, I would, I would like to say that this Khalifa uh, Bar Media, this term always comes from my support, Khalifa Bar Media support, anything and everything. And so again, God bless America, God bless India, God bless India. Indian Indo American Peace Club and I love you all and good night. Dr. Anupama Goti Mukula, who is the only fourth woman elected as a president of American Association of Physicians of Indian origin in its nearly four decades long history, was honored by her visionary leadership of RP. Good evening, I am Dr. Anupama Goti Mukula, President of uh, American Association of Physicians of Indian Origin. And uh, my humble thanks to ITV Gold, Dr. Sudhir Parikji and uh, Sudhaji, and for uh, you know honoring us today here with the media press. And uh, I want to congratulate um, IAPC today. And uh, I'm thankful to IAPC for honoring API. This award goes to API. RP organization has been serving humbly the communities and uh, we thank you very much. Dr. Thomas Abraham, who has been serving the community for the last 49 years since he moved to New York as a graduate student at Columbia University, was also honored. Uh, Thomas Abraham, I'm chairman of the Global Organization of People of Indian Origin. I was also involved in uh, starting many other community institutions in, in the USA, starting with the Federation of Indian Association in 1970s, the National Federation of Indian Association in 1980, then the Global Organization of People of Indian Origin in 1989. I also was instrumental in ca campaigning for the uh, India chair for at Columbia University that is called Jagdish Bhagavati chair for Indian political economy. Two other groups I started was uh, National Indo-American Association for Senior Citizens and South Asian Council for uh, uh, Social Services, uh, SACS. 